I'm Dr. Parsa Mohebi with U.S. Hair Restoration. I will be discussing how to detect baldness. Uh, if you're a man with early stages of hair loss, the, first, the very first symptoms might be receding hairline or thinning throughout the top of the scalp or the front or crown. Uh, most people uh, might feel that the texture of hair gets a little bit finer. So the best thing is to go find a good hair transplant surgeon and be evaluated through a microscopic evaluation. We call it miniaturization study. We use a microscope to look at different areas of the scalp. So basically we look at the back of the scalp and look at the donor hair, which is more better quality, more permanent hair, and then look at the recipient area or the area that is balding and look at the uh, percentage of uh, thinning or miniaturization. If anyone has more than 20% of fine hair or miniaturized hair at any area, that means uh, he or she has uh, active hair loss. So in order to do that, I use the microscope on the donor area and evaluate the uh, thickness of hair. The same thing with the front corners, top, and crown areas and that will give me a good understanding of the miniaturization level of somebody's hair. That way if my patient needs treatment with medication I know when to start or whether or not I'm a start uh, or if he or she needs a hair transplant surgery I know which areas needs to be restored rather than just uh, limiting my hair restoration area to the obvious balding area, I go in between the areas that I predict patient is going to lose in the future. Uh, I'm Dr. Parsimohebi with U.S. Hair Restoration, and that was how to detect baldness.